Well, let's now talk to a researcher and educationist, Peter Goodrow. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Uh, what's your take on this directive on school closure ahead of the election? Well, I, I think the government, uh, you know, officials who have made the decision are, are trying to um, avoid untoward events. You know, they are trying to uh, protect protect Nigeria and protect especially the young, the young people. You know, most of the young people in the universities are at impressionable ages. Um, we call their age the age of storm and stress. And uh, given the current uh, challenges in the country, uh, people have been, you know, <laughs> knocked left, right, and center with diverse challenges. If you have so many young people gathered in, in small spaces called universities, you know, when you put that in the, in the larger context, you discover that uh, we uh, we can't be absolutely sure of what will happen uh, if um, enemies of society decide to decide to use them against society. So uh, I think the government uh, officials are, are trying to be wise um, rather than wait to manage problems that have arisen. They want to prevent problems. And I think that from a very professional perspective, um, it may not be a bad idea. Uh, the only challenge we have here is the fact that these young people were at home for eight months and uh, it's not long they return to school and we're asking them to go home. But the question is which one is better? They go home uh, and stay in the comfort of their homes and their parents have little or nothing to worry about their safety. Or we say because they have to be in school, we keep them in school and something happens and everybody begins to run them. They say, here's that scale now. I get your better? point, Dr. Ogodoro. Uh, uh, re yes. Reactions already trail this directive. A university don who's a member of ASU uh, has questioned the authority of the NUC to shut down schools. Shut but down. we know that there's a directive from the Minister of Education. Uh, what's your expectation as to compliance to this directive. No, can you repeat that? I didn't hear it clear. What's my expectation with respect to? What do you expect will be the compliance? Will it be partial or full, given uh, the exception taken by some members of ASU as to NUC's authority? No, certainly. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is the visitor you know, to all, all federal universities in the country, and governors are visitors to state universities. So once uh, they comply with the directive of direct directive of the government. And they have to because the, the minister supervises um, the National Universities Commission, and the National Universities Commission is the regulatory authority that oversees what goes on in universities across the land, especially those ones that are owned by federal government of Nigeria. Even the ones that are in private hands are still, in some sense, uh, also uh, controlled by National Universities Commission. And so I, I do not expect anything like partial partial compliance. <laughs> they are, they are, the, the people who work in universities are employees, are employees of federal government. Of government. Uh, for Absolutely. those in federal universities, they have to comply. Considering that students make up 27% of registered voters, uh, what's the implication of this directive on voter turnout? Because uh, we really do not know where most of them registered uh, to vote, as it were. Well, we don't also have accurate data regarding where these students registered, whether they registered while they were on campus or they registered back in their in their homes, in the places where they reside with their parents. So uh, we don't have any data that makes it clear as to um, where they are going to vote. So if you keep them on campus, they probably may not be able to uh, exercise their franchise there. And so, uh, but I think more fundamentally uh, uh, is safety that the government I think is pursuing. Uh, it's a hard one, especially for somebody like me who is an educationist. And uh, I know that it's, it's a bad idea for students to meet me school for even one day. But the question is, um, which one is better? Stay alive and then pursue uh, your educational objectives later. Or the person you know, is harmed to a level where he is not able to continue to go to school. I think a reasonable, any reasonable manager, any reasonable person in authority would prefer to keep people alive and then they can pursue their objectives later. Researcher and education is Dr. Peter Goodero. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10.